Hey everybody, it's me, John Anthony Chihok Soltero. I am the anti-hero, and I'm here with what I'm hoping is going to be the start of a series. I'm still trying to come up with the name of it, but I'm doing comic book reviews, graphic novel reviews, and then I'm gonna grade them <clears throat> on a 10.0 scale, just like you would get your comic books graded. Um, <clears throat> So I think it's kind of appropriate this week. You know, we hear that uh, uh, the Comics Guarantee Corporation, CGC, as it's affectionately known, was purchased. And uh, earlier this week or last week, I did a Berserker uh, review live on the non-con page on Facebook. But I decided what I wanted to start doing maybe to garner a little bit more interest in my YouTube channel instead of doing unboxings, which I think there's just a ton of them. They're, they get a little bit repetitive. I'm not necessarily pulling out like ASM 129s and you know Incredible Hulk's 181s and stuff like that. So it's not as exciting with mine. And then I might have like a huge stack. And anyways, <clears throat> so my first review on video uh, at least recently, was Berserker. And because it was a newer, or it is a newer series, I didn't spoil anything within the confines of the book. The book I'm reviewing right now is 10 years old. Therefore, I feel like if I hit spoilers, which I'm going to, it's okay. So there are spoilers, but you're going to get a grade at the end of this. So what I'm reviewing today is Gladstone School for World Conquerors. Uh, the graphic novel, this, this book was put out by Image Comics. It was published by Image Comics. But one of the really, really cool things about this book is the artist, Armand Villavere, is from Arizona. He's up in Phoenix. He goes to a lot of the local cons. I've got a couple of commissions from him. I got this book at Bookman's uh, this past weekend, and I took a picture of it, and I sent it to him, and he was like, oh, that's awesome, where'd you get it? And I was like, I got it at Bookman's, and sent a sad face emoji, because he's like, well, somebody sold it. And I'm like, yeah, but I mean, it's like, now I get it, and I get to read it. And I had asked him about purchasing uh, copies from him, and he, he told me, like, no problem, and then, you know, he's got stuff he's doing and I didn't follow up with him. So what I eventually wanna do with this channel is get myself some uh, video editing software so I can get scans or you know JPEGs of pages from the book so I can actually pop them up like it's a newscast and make it look a little bit more legit. Videos and the reviews will probably be a lot less often as I was trying to do videos about every week or more and uh, with what I'm doing with the comics and my creating comics, it, it slows things down a lot if I'm gonna try to do something like this. So Gladstone School for World Conquerors. I thought this was like uh, a kid's book. And while it's suitable for kids, it is an all ages book. A lot like the Bubble Patrol. There's a lot to like about this book. The characterizations are pretty interesting. Um, so the story starts out with this like really bad failed supervillain who's never beaten anybody a day in his life. Like he's a, remember Wizard Magazine would do their Mort of the Month and it would be some really, really bad character with some really lame powers or something like that. And so this guy was a mystical character, but like his magic abilities god-awful, and he got his ass handed to him left and right. Well, what did he decide to do? He decided to go after the biggest, best supervillain there was and learn from him. And supervillain extraordinaire uh, welcomes him into his home, is ready to like sit down and talk to him. Gladstone, who's the the Name, the school's named after him, obviously. Gladstone's the failed supervillain. Sees the book that this Lex Luthor of supervillains in this universe has, that just has all the keys and all the, like everything he needs to know 
about being a quality supervillain. He steals the book. And uh, this guy tracks him down, turns him to stone. And then continues the school for world conquerors. So these kids are probably middle school, maybe freshman-ish. So like a middle school type uh, environment. They're, they're all fairly young, like things are changing for them. They're almost all legacy. So their parents are super villains. Their parents have names for themselves. Um, and this, uh, you find out later, like this fight breaks out outside of the school. And it's a villain fighting against a bunch of villains, including some of these uh, students' parents. And you're like, well, why are they fighting? And you find out that the villains all together, along with the heroes, signed an armistice. And what they agreed to do is basically now it's all merchandising and it's, and it's showmanship, which plays so much into what we're seeing with how comic books are being turned into you know, movies and TV shows, and that's where the money is. It's not really in the comic books itself. The, the IP holds value, but, you know, nobody became a billionaire or a millionaire by writing or drawing comics. Like, if your book or your characters get a TV deal, if they get a movie deal, that's where your money is, where you're merchandising on, like, T-shirts and action figures and posters and, and keychains and stuff like that. That's where you're going to make the money. So this book kind of follows that thought process because these kids eventually find out that their parents are in comic books. And they're constantly losing to the heroes. And they don't understand it because they've always seen their parents being these like great villains and they look up to them and they want to be like them and they want to be strong and everything. And it's just a really fun concept that in this first volume, the first six issues, you see these kids decide to do what their parents couldn't do, and they go after the guy in the comic who, who's taken out all of their parents. And, like, they're like, we're going to take them alive, we're going to capture them, and then we'll never have to, like, live up to our parents' reputation because we'll be the top dogs here. It's such a fun concept, and it's also the artwork... Uh, Armand does an amazing job on the artwork and um, Mark Andrew Smith, the writer, he's got these characterizations down. Um, I'm excited for it. From what I'd heard, they they did some some crowdfunding for, I believe it was a new book and I've done a little bit of like looking, but I haven't seen it listed anywhere. So it may not just be picked up by a publisher or image again. Once that happens is when you'll see it logged on to, you know, uh, coverprice.com and things like that. So the, the back tagline on this spoils everything for you, but this is great. The battles between superheroes and supervillains are fake. Too bad nobody told them. Students, Gladstone School world conquerors this is uh, again this is a super fun book the cover price on this is 15.99 so 16 bucks will get you six issues you're also going to see some pinups and some sketches uh issue number i believe this is issue number five they actually get super meta which i it has to be done right and at first when i started reading chapter five i was just like this is a really this feels really weird. But then when they reveal, like, they're they're breaking down how all this works and in their universe, and I'm just like, okay, okay, so it's kind of narration. It's kind of meta them breaking the fourth wall because it's one of your characters telling you, like, basically this is how it is kind of thing. Um, so lots and lots of fun. I do recommend it. What is my first actual grade because I made a visual and I'm going to make these a little bit better so that like I have these things to show up a 9.2 out of 10 this is near mint this is off the rack so I definitely recommend Gladstone School for World Conquerors talk to your LCS 
and order yourself a copy. You guys have a great rest of your day, great weekend. Please stay safe this weekend as you'll be watching this um, on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Also, if you've stayed all the way till the end of this video, in the description below is the link for the pre-launch page of the Bubble Patrol issue four. It's launching on Inst uh, Instagram. It's launching on Indiegogo on July 3rd, bright and early on July 3rd, Saturday. And why are we doing this again? Just a rehash and a recap. We're doing this again because we raised enough money to do the printing through the Facebook campaign. However, because the printing partnership program is on hiatus, I needed to find a different printer. And that different printer is gonna cost more money. Plus, we got a couple of really, really great exclusives. The Foley Forever cover by Bill Simpson, who's also the colorist on the book, um, is only available through the Facebook campaign. So if you head over to the Bubble Patrol on Facebook, you can pick it up there by DMing the Bubble Patrol page and providing us your PayPal information. There's an exclusive cover that's gonna be just for the Indiegogo, which you will see Saturday morning on Facebook. And we hope you enjoy it. It's only gonna be available on the Indiegogo campaign. So I wanted to do something fun for both options and we hope to see you at the end. Uh, don't forget to set your reminders Make sure you like and comment on this. Uh, if you share it, that's great. If you subscribe to my channel, wonderful. That's fabulous. That's just a bonus for me. But definitely like the, the content if, if you actually like it. And give me a comment because I love to interact with people like I've said before. But again, a 9.2 for Gladstone School for World Conquerors. Check it out.